Hello everyone and welcome back to Burn Brother Antiques. Today we are starting in the heart of uh, just me so far, but just got my coffee and we're getting started for the day. So yesterday was Friday, which means that we had our bulk jewelry sale, which means I have to ship our bulk jewelry sale. And uh, I didn't put it on YouTube because my phone's not connected to YouTube, but it was hilarious. Me, Jimmy, and Josh all dressed up like my dad, and then Kate, or not Kate, Janet dressed up like Kate, and it was just super funny, super fun show. If you if you guys have whatnot, you should be able to go look at our past shows. Maybe you can watch it. Pretty hilarious. All right, so I just finished shipping the bulk jewelry show. This was about an hour's worth of shipping. Uh, I believe we did 40, 41 lots with the giveaway down there. That's a little t-shirt down there, but probably 500 pounds of jewelry right there it's pretty heavy um you want to go put that up front and so the usps man can pick it up so up front in the sold bin so far we have a miniature pin cushion with that's 28 dollars. that's an interesting one i wouldn't want to it says a foot rest pin cushion i would not want to put my feet on that at all and over here we have what's this black carved wood paint i'm not sure maybe it's uh one of those things you smash medicine with uh you have an old Old wood burning decorated box, $9.95. It's really a good buy for an old box like that. Over here in B12, we have rainbow fluorite, and it's at $35, a big chunk of big chunk of pretty stone like right there. Now this one's impressive. A pottery lion, maybe brush McCoy they have on the tag. Look at that. That's an impressive one. It's massive too. I like that. How much is it? $45. Goodbye. So I was just walking down the aisle six in the heart and this booth 6115 caught my eye because all the Halloween decorations over here. I know some people that would love these. Look, a black cat, that is so cool. How much is that? Uh, $24 McCoy cat. Now that's a good buy right there. And then you have R2D2, $65. Is it a cookie jar? I don't know, it's a ceramic R2D2, I think. That's really cool. It says vintage lights, maybe it's not ceramic. I don't know. That's really neat. And a Pac-Man. More cool Halloween decorations. Oh, look at his eyes. That's creepy. Yep, just another cool little shelf in this booth. So Joe's in the house now. He's inventorying some jewelry, it looks like. Working on the next week's auction so we can get ahead. Uh, what's going on, Joe? Inventorying. Inventorying. Yeah. That's really fun, isn't it? I mean, I like the work. <laughs> yep. So we have Pokemon up here in the sold bin. It's a Pokemon lunchbox full of cards for $18. Let's look at some of the cards in here. Wow, look at that. $18. Hopefully that's a good buy. I have no idea how the cards do. And then this is a little tea set. USSR three-piece tea set for $9. I love the glazing on that. It's kind of um, changes colors from different directions. And we got three books up here. Um, this one has a price tag on it. It, oh, upside down. It says, Worthington's History of the United States for $5. It's a pretty good buy for an old book right there. So in this old bin, we have a superhero lover. We have an, a Superman comic book for $14. And then Batmobile. Uh, I don't see a price tag on the Batmobile. Maybe it's on the bottom. Oh, there it is. Oh, $25 on the model car kit. The bin with that McCoy Lion is filling up an MCM gold filled tiered stand for $25 right there. And then you have a little goblet over here. Not little, big goblet with no price on it. Oh, well, that's no good. And then a large gold glass compote for $39. That one's big too, holy smokes. Up here we got a light lover, an old globe light fixture, $29. Some of these uh, Halloween lights, I don't see a price tag on them anywhere. Oh, there it is, $5 on that bundle of lights, as well as lamp part for $3 a piece right here. Oh, it wasn't showing you, three bucks a piece for those lamp parts right there. Okay, look at this, another um, USSR three-piece tea set for $9 in a different sold bin. I wonder if these guys are together or if that's random because if that's random that's pretty cool that they sold two in one day here we have uh $1.99 on this little wreath uh two bucks on that wreath and then nails for a dollar look at that little santa claus or snowman for three dollars and fifty cents as well as ten dollars in that teacup and probably that plate 
Oh no, that plate's not what it says. Oh, yes it is. And then these little animals. Uh, I don't see any price tags. Nine dollars on a porcelain pug. I'm sure the other, the camel and the, uh, is that a rhino or the same? This Halloween uh, black cat, is this a candle? Or a cookie jar or something? It looks like a little cookie jar. That thing is cute. I love that. I don't see a price tag on it. $12 on that one. Got a little Greek key um, punch cups right here for $35. That's a pretty good buy on the set. And I love the Greek key. I think it looks amazing. Now this is a great buy. Blanco Purple Pitcher Plus Glasses for $40. That whole set for $40. Oh my. I can't believe that's a great buy. I love this. A Rookwood Arts and Crafts Vase for $70, $175. Rookwood XX V or Y. I'm not sure what year that is. I'm not the best at Roman numerals, but that is very cool. And then you have a needle print or needle point, or is that what it's called? $65 on the sign, the heart, uh, home is where the heart is, $65 on that one. Over here, there's an amber frog, um, $22 on this little guy, as well as a stem that is $37 cocktail. Etched, etched glass on the top and the black stem. Now this dog is cute. A little ceramic dog uh, signs something on the bottom. I can't really make it out, but $40 on that dog. That'd go good in the dog's first cat sale. And while I was talking, it looks like the Riddler was added to the, the superhero lover over here. This huge Riddler um, doll is for $75 in the original box. That's a pretty cool buy. So here we have a $25 McCoy planter with the um, room for the stems to come out the sides as well. That's pretty cool. $25 for that one as well as this little lead looking guy. Um, $20 on him. Cast iron, not lead. Looks like a firefighter. So here we have a Wagner Ware cast iron skillet for $26. Is that like a four inch? That four is inch. Tiny. Yeah, it is small, but for $26. Three. It's a great egg size. Yeah, it is. Great for some eggs. I don't know. You would fill that up. Oh, put, you'd have put that quite a few in there. Oh, yeah, five eggs at least. <laughs> On the other side over here, we have some Harmony Kingdom little boxes. This one's priced at $23 sold. That's a great pickup. And there's another one in the original box right here at $40. I'll show you guys that one. It's a little bigger. They're so cool. It's, it's, a, it's two swans or something. It's pretty neat. And in, the, in this uh, bin as well, we have NASCAR. I can't read it upside down. Let me flip it. A NASCAR set in boxes for $18, two trucks and a car, that's pretty neat. As well as this little uh, goblet right here, it looks like it would glow, $14 on the goblet. Over here we have a New Yorker, or Royal New Yorker, it looks like a magazine for $5, as well as a straw dispenser back here, $16 on the Coca-Cola straw dispenser. All right, everyone, so that wraps up today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you go like and subscribe, and as well, leave a comment as to what you would like to see me film. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of new to this. I'm not used to holding the camera every day, doing everything, so let me know what you guys would like to see. Make these videos a little bit longer, but also, I think Josh and Jamie will be helping a little more over the week, so thank you for watching, and see you next time.